مشاهدينا ومشاهدي في جول اهلا بيكم في اولى حلقات برنامج سوالف سعودي. معانا النهارده فيلدا دندفيتش المعد البدني السابق لنادي دمك السعودي. Good evening and thank you for your invitation, Mr. Hamid. في البداية كده عايزين نعرف أسباب اختيارك إنك تكون معد بدني وبالتحديد في كرة القدم. طبعًا في رياضات تانية بتكون محتاجة معد بدني زي مثلًا الـ NBA اللي هو بيلعبوا كل يوم فإيه أسباب اختيارك للكرة بشكل بالتحديد يعني؟ I chose football because I was playing football for 12 years and there was always passion between me and football so I was always connected somehow to football so that is the main reason why I decide to work within the football because I know demands of the sport of the football as a sport and the big difference between football and other sport when we talk about planning and programming training through the weeks is that in other sports we need to take care about a busy schedule through the week uh, where we have more often games than in football and also we need to take care about demands of that sport so that is the let's say main reason what is the biggest difference between football and NBA because you need to take care about totally different things than in football. ايه اكتر انواع الاصابات العضلية شيوعا في كرة القدم وازاي بتقدر تعالجها؟ Most usual injuries in football are uh, hamstring strain, groin strain and quadriceps strain. Uh, the most important thing is that every player is is individual player so when we are make, making plans and programs for prevention we need to take care and look at each player as individual so that is the only right way how you can reduce possibility of injury injury will always happen but if you look at player as individual not as a group then you will make uh, you will make uh, risk of injury on minimum بما انك كنت متواجد في الدوري السعودي و... و... واشتغلت في اكتر من دوري عربي الاجهزه الفنيه بتطلب من اللعيب العربي على وجه التحديد لو هو عايز يتجوز ان يكون الفرح في الاجازات الرسميه يعني بنهايه الموسم علشان العلاقه الزوجيه شايف ده ازاي مناسبة بال اللي موجود مع اللاعب الاوروبي. In my opinion, the most important thing is that player is happy outside of the field. Because we can talk also in this way. If he is not happy outside of the field, then he will not put 100% every training. He will be depressed, he will be anxious, he will have a lack of motivation for that training. So he will not training every day as he need to train so then from my opinion that there is a bigger possibility of injury than if we are putting some restrictions outside of the field for him وانت بتقول الكلام ده عايز اقول لك برضو ان واتنج لاعب ميلان السابق كانت صديقته طلعت في حوار صحفي وقالت ان هو العلاقه اللي بتكون ما بينهم بتكون اكثر من المعتاد ورغم كده كنا بنشوف بواتنج بتصاب كتير هل ده ليه علاقه بقى بالشرب ولا ايه بالظبط that is connected because of bad habits outside of the of the field because then you are not taking care about your healthy sport life as you should need to take care because then for sure you are not going to sleep on the time you don't have 8 to 10 hours uh, sleep so And we know that sleep is most important thing for player recovery. It's not always about nutrition or about prevention training or about uh, some cold and uh, cold baths and uh, compression boots inside the club. But uh, sleep is the most important thing. Sleep is number one. So if you are not having 
a good and quality sleep, then for sure it's connected and related with that as well. اوقات كثيرة اللاعب المصاب ده بيكون وصل للطب بالنسبة له، يعني وصل لأعلى مستوى بالنسبة ليه، وبتجي له الإصابة، فطبعا بيكون من الناحية العاطفية بيكون مدمر نفسيا، أو من الناحية النفسية عموما بيكون متدمر، فأنت كمعد بدني بتتعامل إزاي مع الحالة النفسية بتاعة اللاعب ومع الإصابة في نفس الوقت؟ When player is injured, some of them usually get in situations where they are depressed, anxious. Uh, their social inter interaction is uh, reduced. Uh, also, there is lack of motivation. So, me as fitness coach, I have a big responsibility in communication with him. So, it's not always about exercise or number of repetitions or weight or running. It's more about communication to encourage him, to convince him that everything will be fine. to motivate him to work, to make him also that he trusts you as a coach, that everything will be good, that you are on a good way in a rehabilitation, a rehabilitation program, that he need to work hard to make stronger on the field. طيب انت بقى ما بتكون متواجد في نادي جديد. ازاي بتقدر تبني الثقة ما بينك وما بين اللعيبة؟ So when we talk about foreigner players, who are not from Arabic world, then not only me, but also other coaches from the staff, they try to, to make communication about their private life, because especially if their family is not with them in uh, Arabic country, then for sure they are missing their family. And it's always important that you ask them, uh, how is your family, is your kid good, uh, when will they come? When will they visit you? Because then you are show, showing to them that you take care also about his private life. Because at the end of the day, we are all the humans and we all, all have feelings. So it's also important that you show that players that you take care about their family. طيب انت كشخص اجنبي تاقلمت ازاي على المعيشه في الدول العربيه؟ My adaptation was really, really easy because in moment when I came to Saudi Arabia, I was so young. I had a big opportunity to work in Saudi world, so I look on that as a big opportunity for my, my career. Uh, on the other hand, people are very kind. I have never had any uncomfortable situation with them. Also today I have some people that I call my friends down there, so every time when I go to Saudi Arabia, I met with them, I drink coffee with them, go on dinner with them. So that is everything talking about my adaptation in Arabic world. So I really enjoy and like to work in Arabic world. خلال تواجدك برضو في الدول العر الدوريات العربية هل فكرت في من أيام إنك تتعلم اللغة العربية وإيه أبرز الكلمات العربية اللي أنت عارفها ممكن تقولها لنا تقول لنا منها كلمات. Last year I started to learn Arabic because. I wanted to show the people where I'm working that I'm respecting their culture, their language, their country as well. So I take teacher and I was learning Arabic at the beginning three times per week, later two times per week. And I wanted to know just some basis to let's say have normal communication with people. Uh, something on Arabic, what I can know to say and what I'm talking with my friends on, let's say, daily daily conversation are things like uh, Bukra Temrin, uh, Hamsa Digiga, or I can know also to say uh, Salam Aleikum, Ismi Vlade, uh, Keifa Haluk, Anamin Kurwatia, Masmukenta, and things like, like that. So let's say basic things I know to say. So the, the most funniest thing for me was related uh, in work in Altai and it's connected with uh, my Arabic and knowing to speak Arabic language because new player came from Al Ahly on loan to Altai club and other players know that I know to talk Arabic and that I understand something on Arabic And when they understand that, they were, let's say, somehow scared to talk 
everything in front of me because they know I will understand something. And new player came in a gym and my role was also working on pre-activation uh, with players individual in gym. And new player came in gym and he was shaking hands with other players and he came to one Arabic player who is speaking English very good and that player answered him on English that I can understand as well. Listen, be careful what, what you are talking in front of him because he understands language and he was surprised like how is he knowing to understand and how he know to speak Arabic so he was laughing really. المتابعين لكرة القدم بشكل عام كله بيتكلم ازاي لحد وقتنا هذا مودريتش ميسي رونالدو بيلعبوا بنفس الاداء وكانهم عندهم 27 سنه مش اللي عنده 40 ولا 38 ولا 36 شايف ده سببه ايه انهم لحد السن ده وبيقدموا بنفس الاداء هل بسبب مثلا رونالدو او ميسي عشان الدوريات نوعا ما ضعيفه لكن مودريتش 40 سنه موجود في الدوري الاسباني ودوري ابطال اوروبا وبيلعب اساسي بشكل عادي فشايف ده اسبابه ايه ان اللياقه البدنيه لحد دلوقتي اللعيبه زي ما بيقولوا واقفين على رجليهم شايف ده سببه التاسيس الصح ولا سببه ايه بالظبط It's not for sure about what they currently do It's connected with what they were doing for last 10 to 15 years because they are taking care about their nutrition about their training about their sleep for last 10 years let's say from the beginning of their career that is not let's say something what they they are thinking i must do that that is more about their lifestyle they are living like that they are living football so that is the reason why they are still playing on that level and on such a good performance level <laughs> عايزينك بقى تعلمنا كلمه بالكرواتي. I can teach you simple words what I learn for for Arabic language. Uh, so السلام uh, عليكم we said dobar dan. Uh, كيف حالك we said kako si. Uh, اسمي Vlade we said ya sam Vlade. So they say Croatian language is also difficult difficult language but to be honest for me it was easier to learn basics of Arabic than Croatian basics. Yasan Hamid, كده صح؟ Very good. اتبسطنا بوجودك معانا النهارده يا بلاده واتمنى ان احنا ان شاء الله نشوفك في حلقه ثانيه وتكون موجود في الدوري السعودي في فريق اكبر وتكون برضو موجود معانا هنا في الجول. Thank you, Mr. Hamed. It was a pleasure to have a conversation with you and wish you all the best.